Six and five now, <laughs> It is. Were yes. you like, what are you about to do? The end of the world. I mean, yes, also that, the end of the world. <laughs> the end of the world, apocalypse. Yeah. I don't know I why. Want, I want to sing a licensed to. song, but I can't. I was no, like, we can't. You know what? It's okay. I will sing unlicensed <laughs> garbage music for you. This, I'm gonna do like a, a knockoff ripoff version. Ooh, this, this perfect. is the end. This is the finale of stuff. As we all are aware. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Unlicensed also means off key. Well, I was trying to also change the notes. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, I like it. It's perfect. Then I, because then, because that I means that I can sing music. along. If it's off key, that means I can sing along with you. Oh, I see. I see. Yes. I bet you're a better singer than you give yourself credit Mm-mm. for. Mm-mm. No, watch any episode of We Watch Who and you will very quickly learn. Nineteen sixty-seven. Okay. The hundred millionth GM vehicle rolled off the line at the plant in Janesville. This is the voice. A blue two-door. This is the voice of the narrator. Three days later, yep. another car rolled off that same yeah. line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No one okay. gave two craps about her, but they should have. I don't know this nineteen sixty-seven Chevrolet Impala would turn out to be the most important car. She was first owned by Sal Moriarty, an alcoholic with two ex-wives and three blocked arteries. I love this. On weekends, he'd drive around. After Sal died, she ended up at Rainbow Motors, a used car lot in Lawrence, where a young Marine bought her on impulse, after a little advice from a friend. <laughs> I guess that's where this story begins. This is what you want, I'll back your play. That's the last thing I thought you'd ever say. Might be. I'm not gonna lie to you, though. It goes against every fiber I got. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. They're watching out for you. Kind of a bit of my job, you know? Yeah. More than that, it's, it's kind of who I am. Is this really what you want? Eek. Mm-hmm. He's like, I'm trying to use my support. I, but... I got to put him back in. Mm-hmm. Very cool of you. Oh, good. But... On the subject, there's something I got to talk to you about. What? <laughs> this thing goes our way, and I'm triple Lindy into that box (laughs) you know I'm not coming back yeah I'm aware so you gotta promise me something you gotta promise not to try to bring me back Uh, what as if I'm just gonna let you rot in there yeah you are you don't have a choice you can't ask me to do this I'm sorry Dean you have to so then what am I supposed to do you go find Lisa you pray to God she's dumb enough to take you in you you have barbecues And go to football games. You go live some normal apple pie life, Dean. He likes Promise pie. Me. Yeah. He likes his brother more. Yeah. Detroit. Yeah. Demons. At least two dozen of them. No. He gets in. You fight him tooth and nail, you understand? Keep swinging. Don't give an inch. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Take care of these guys, okay? That's not possible. Then humor me. Mm. Oh, I'm supposed to lie. <laughs> oh, uh, supposed sure. To lie. Be fine. Just, just <laughs> you're not. Okay. You're doing a terrible job. Oh, I'm supposed to lie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You might not watch this. Blech. We're here, you sons of bitches! Come and get it! I mean, maybe that was creeping that, you know, just on the street. Hey, guys. What's your father home? Yeah. Hey. Hey, guys. So nice of you to drop in. We're not here to fight you. No? Then why are you? I want to say yes. Excuse me? <laughs> He's super souped up. 
Yep. Chock full of Ovaltine, are we? You heard me. Chock full yes. of Ovaltine? You're serious. I know you have the ring, Sam. Hmm. I mean, it's... I have no idea what you're talking her. about. Come on. The horseman's rings. The magic keys to my cage. <laughs> Ring a bell. A wrestling match inside your noggin. I like the idea. Just you and me, one round, no tricks. You win, you jump in the hole. I win, well, then I win. Yes. Does his Bevotamo end? I can feel him. Yeah, so do your thing. Uh, and I know it's not gonna happen. Something bad's gonna happen. I don't like it. It's too early. No! No! Duh, I knew it. I was just messing with Things you. Things never go according to plan. Bevo kick him. Just kick him. Run and kick. I mean, they never think of the obvious solutions. I told you. This would always happen in Detroit. Mm. Come on. I can feel you. You got me all wrong, kiddo. I'm not the bad guy here. I'm gonna rip you apart from the inside out. Do you understand me? Such anger. Young Skywalker. Christopher, you're literally the bad guy. <laughs> I want you to be happy, Sam. I don't want anything from you. That's Mr. Bensman. One of my grade school teachers. And that's your friend Doug from that time in East Lansing. And Rachel, your prom date. Sam Winchester, this is your life. Azazel's gang. Watching you since you were a rug rat. I know how you feel about them. Me too. So what do you say you and I blow off a little steam? Ports are flooding in. 7.6 This is over. Listen to me, you jungler sissy. We are not giving up. Bobby. Bobby? There was never much hope to begin with. So, are we having fun yet? No. Sam said yes. I know. I saw it. Did you see where the title fight goes down? <sighs> the angels are keeping a top secret. Very hush-hush. Oh, crap. But I saw it anyway. Perks of being a prophet. It's uh, tomorrow. High noon. A place called Stull Cemetery. I knew. You're gonna do something stupid. Probably. You got that look. I'm gonna go talk to Sam. You just don't give up. It's Sam! If you couldn't reach him here, you're certainly not gonna be able to on the battlefield. Well, if we've already lost, I guess I got nothing to lose, right? The only thing that you're gonna see out there is Michael killing your brother. So and I ain't gonna your, let him die alone. Your brother killing your brother. Yeah, your brother killing your brother. Your brother's bodies. Seeing your brother kill your brother. So there, Cass. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of true, actually. <laughs> I never thought it's about good it. To see you, Michael. It's been too long. Part of me wishes we didn't have to do this. Me too. Dad made everything, which means he made me who I am. God wanted the devil. I just can't figure out the point. What's your point? We're going to kill each other. And for what? One of Dad's tests. We don't even know the answer. Let's just walk off the chessboard. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I can't do that. I'm a good son, and I have my orders. But you don't have to follow them. What? You think I'm gonna rebel? Now? I'm not like you. Please, Michael. No, you haven't changed a bit, little brother. Always blaming everybody but yourself. We were happy, but you betrayed me, all of us, and you made our father leave. No one makes Dad do anything. He is doing this to us. You're a monster, Lucifer. I have to kill you. Then I'd like to see you try. This is so weird. Yes. I'm gonna say this is so weird. Yes. 
Hey. We need to talk. Even for you. This is a whole new mountain of stupid. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Sam. You are no longer a part of this story. Hey, ass butt. Yeah! <laughs> ass butt. Ass butt? He'll be back and upset. But you got your five minutes. <laughs> Castillo, oh. did you just Molotov my brother? That's his best line. With holy fire? No. No one dicks with Michael but me. Sammy, can you hear me? You were very worried about Bobby, but... Uh... I tried to be nice. For Sammy's sake. Oh my god. Should have been. But you. Maybe worried about. Were such a pain in my ass. <laughs> no! Yes. <laughs> We're gonna take our time. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave you. Sorry, bud. They're gonna break that. He's gonna take him with him. Oh, he's at least around. That's good. Is you alive? I'm better than that. That's good. Don't leave, Cass. We need someone. Cass, are you God? <laughs> That's a nice compliment. Uh, I was about to no. lose my shit. <laughs> if it was Cass, are you God? Oh, at least we got Bobby. <laughs> my heart. Uh. We turn to heaven, I suppose. Heaven? Michael in the cage. I'm sure it's total anarchy up there. So what, you're the new sheriff in town? Can you hang out for a while, Cass, though? I you like know. that, yeah. I suppose Hopefully. I am. Well, God gives you a brand new shiny set of wings and suddenly you're as big again. I don't know what God wants. Seems like the right thing to do. Well, if you do see him, you tell him I'm coming for him next. Coming for God? Isn't you're angry? Mm -hmm. He helped. Maybe even more than we realized. Well, that's easy for you to say. He brought you back. All I got is my brother in a hole. You got what you asked for, Dean. No paradise. No hell. Just more of the same. I mean it, Dean. What would you rather have? Peace or freedom? Well, you really suck at goodbyes, you know then. This is the last Dean and Bobby will see of each other for a very long time. And for the record, at this point next week, Bobby will be hunting a Rougarou outside of Dayton. Outside not Dean. Of Dayton. So Dean didn't weird want Cass to save him. Every part of him, every fiber he's got, wants to die or find a way to bring Sam back. But he isn't gonna do either, because he made a promise. Are you all right? Uh, if it's not too late, I think I'd like to take you up on that beer. It's never too late. So what's it all add up to? It's hard to say. But me, I'd say this was a test for Sam and Dean. And I think they did all right. Up against good, evil, angels, devils, destiny, and God himself. They chose family. And, well, isn't that kind of the whole point? No doubt, endings are hard. But then again, nothing ever really ends, does it? Uh, oh, uh, what? Weird. Wait. 
What? Who this? How? What? <laughs> I mean, I guess my fan theory that I was gonna say mm -hmm. probably doesn't apply anymore. Oh no, go for it. Sam was watching from outside, or at least the body of Sam was watching from outside, which something that looks like probably Sam probably was Lucifer. And that means Lucifer got out. For it being mm -hmm. like kind of a dismal ending, it was very much the first ever actual happy ending in a weird way. We finally got a happy ending. Like not so happy for Sam. No. No, definitely not. But like I said, it's it's so weird. Like when they die, I'm not like I'm sad about it and I'm sad for them. Mm -hmm. Like for the fact that they're at a loss, not for the, them individually. Like, oh no, you're suffering. It was more of like, yeah. oh no, the person you love who is alive is suffering. Yes. And I heard, whether it be true or not, I heard that this was intended to be a series finale. Yes, I've heard some some of those rumors as well, but also I've heard like, no, that's not true. Yeah. Well... So. If it if it was if it was intended to be a season finale, it 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 makes sense. A but series it also, finale, yeah. yeah. Series, sorry, series yeah. finale. It makes sense, but it's also a really weird series finale. We still have some questions. I yeah, don't... it's it's enough to definitely keep a show going, but but it also technically kind of works. Mm -hmm. It's stronger than some series finales I've seen. It's just a really odd one. It just feels very odd. Well, and luckily we have many more seasons to go. We do? <laughs> that was the weirdest apocalypse I've ever seen before. I was going to say, yeah, you have no idea where we're going to go from here because that was the apocalypse. Yeah, but they did technically stop the apocalypse, which defeats the point of an apocalypse. As far as you know... Oh, that's true. Oh, that's true. Oh, oh, it's that's It's been like true. a day. That's true. And the other thing is, we don't know how long the apocalypse might take. It might take another decade or so to actually fully complete. We don't know. We've never been through one. <laughs> you don't know the rules? Cass was like, I'm going to go see how heaven's going. Like, I I don't, I don't know. I, I guess it's probably bonkers up there. So I'm going to go check it out. This was, this was a glorious season. Um, definitely my favorite season so far. Was a really weird and also very sad. It was a season uh, where they got to play and have like, the fun episodes and things and like that. Especially having Chuck so, involved. So many twists. Mm -hmm. So many twists. My and the goodness. trickster involved and stuff. Like, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. And then we also That's had a lot of tragedy. I'm still going back to Ellen and Joe. Yeah. That was just rough. Brutal. Heroic, but rough. Yeah. I'm just happy Bobby's alive. That's wonderful, because I was really I devastated. Know. That was so quick, too, when they when they went and they exploded cast. But hey, you got another one of the best lines in the whole series. Hey, ass butt. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying so hard. He's trying. That's, that's one of the greatest. You're starting to learn that, that Cass is, like, emulating humans. Like, Yeah. Cass is so good. Like, oh, he is yeah, so, man. He's, like, currently I, probably my favorite character. Easily. Like, he is fantastic. And Misha Collins is a friggin' gem of a human <laughs> being. So, yeah. The series, this season, and uh -huh. this episode uh -huh. are all super Naturally. <laughs> hey guys, wasn't this great? I thought so. I thought it was also great. If you thought it was great, you should probably <gasps> do this thing. Like. And then do this thing. Subscribe. And then do this thing. Ring the bell to be notified. And then click that thing. To be at Patreon. And watch that video down there. <laughs> if you want.